Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City. We specialize in investment real estate uh, for the Oklahoma City and Tulsa markets. Um, it's August when I'm doing this video, 1st of August. Uh, and this is a very, very important time for investors where you can really get what you want. And here's a very simple reason. If you're in a market like Oklahoma City and Tulsa, now maybe Los Angeles or Chicago is gonna be a little bit different, but in these types of cities with a lot of suburbs and single family homes, school is a huge factor in terms of where people wanna to buy, to live in, as well as where they want to rent so that their children can go to these schools. And what you've gotta do if you're renting, you've got to show that you know, you're in that house. You know, you've gotta show a rental agreement or an ownership or whatever, but that's what you've gotta to do to do it. But the problem is, Less than two weeks from today, when I'm doing this video, school starts. Uh, the last school, suburban school, some are starting even earlier. And so what happens at times like this is the owner-occupant market just almost disappears, mainly because they've already done their thing. It takes 30 to 45 days to close. And so they were on the ball in May and June in order to get their houses closed in time. So investors, you know, every year, and I've done this for 35 years with investors, I always find that this is when there's the most negotiation that you can do. So number one, I'm seeing builders doing discounts because they are aware of this fact and they've got to keep their numbers up. Either they're national builders and they've got pressure on them from the home office or they're local builders and they've got banks giving them pressure to go ahead and pay things off so they can build more houses. The other thing is in August is owner occupants who already own their homes and need to sell. So what happens is, is they know that at this point, or if their realtor is halfway decent, they know that supply and demand is going to be a little bit different. Supply is pretty high right now. Demand definitely dampens. And this is also great for investors who want to buy existing homes. It doesn't mean that they're all great. I mean, I scour every day trying to find maybe a five year old or less home that you know doesn't owe that much money because I can go in and find out how much they, they owe on their property uh, and to see if they've done any price reductions. Now, if the house has been on the market for 50 days I'm, and no price reductions, I'm not even gonna fool with it. But if I see that, okay, this seller understands that they gotta make their house more attractive, then I'm definitely on that and I'm creating a scenario to get you a really excellent deal on a house that's already occupied. Now, the thing about that is, is it's gotta be at the right price and we're doing the return on investment. We got lower interest rates right now, which is fantastic, makes it even better, but it doesn't mean there's a lot of existing homes that you can buy. Uh, the last time I checked a few days ago, I found seven uh, out of a few thousand homes that really qualify as excellent buys for investors, but that's the kind of going down into the numbers, kind of really going into the weeds, as we say, to make sure it's the right house with the right school district and the right location and the ability to get the right price that makes us want to go ahead and go with those homes. So seven's not bad when you think about that because these are the seven homes we're absolutely sure of. So new homes, there's some deals out there. There's some extras that they're adding on, discounts that they're doing. Existing homes looks to me like it. at this point, some really good deals out there for you. So if you're an investor, August is your month.